What's going on YouTube? Hope you guys are having a good morning. Listen, I just want to jump to the point. And today we're going to be talking about this dude, Eric Holder. Now, Eric Holder is a suspect in the Nipsey Hussle shooting. And the police in Los Angeles are looking for him because they believe that he is the one that actually committed this egregious crime. Now, most of us within our own community had formed the opinion that the government had something to do with this. And the more information that starts to leak out and the fact that they're looking for this brother definitely points to the direction that this whole altercation that took place was street related. Now guys, I want to take the time to read to you what the LAPD had to say in regards to this matter. It's not lengthy, it gets straight to the point, so let's roll. All right, and it states, detectives from LAPD's South Borough Homicide Division are seeking the public's help in locating the suspect involved in a multiple victim shooting which resulted in a homicide on March 31st, 2019, around 3.20 p.m., Three male adults were standing in front of a business in a strip mall in the 3400 block of West Slauson Boulevard. The suspect walked up to the men and fired numerous shots at them. The victims were struck and fell to the ground. The suspect ran southbound through an adjacent alley to a waiting vehicle. The suspect entered the passenger side of the vehicle and fled the area. The vehicle is a 2016 Chevy Cruze, white four doors, California license plate. The vehicle was driven by an unidentified female. Two victims were transported to the local hospitals and one refused medical treatment at the scene. One victim, known as Nipsey Hussle, passed as a result of the gunshot wounds he sustained. Detectives have worked tirelessly and are now asking for the public's help in locating the suspect in this case. The suspect has been identified as 29-year-old Eric Holder of Los Angeles. Now, even though Eric Holder is just a suspect in this case, I want to approach it as if he did it, okay? Would you allow me to do that? As if he did it. So this is allegedly coming for me. Now, one thing within our community that we have to stop doing is pointing the finger at everyone else but ourselves because it's so much hate and vitriol towards one another that we need to actually bring this to the forefront and talk about this and try to affect change in a positive way within our community. And it seems that Nipsey Hussle was working towards that goal to affect change within our own community. I want you to take a look at this tweet by Steve. He said, we at LAPD Chief Moore and I were meeting at the request of at Nipsey Hussle with him and at Rock Nation tomorrow at 4 p.m. to talk about ways he could help stop gang violence and help kids. I'm very sad. So guys, I want you to lift up Laura London in your prayers, who is the wife of Nipsey Hussle. There was a disturbing video of her arriving to the hospital once she found out what happened. I decided not to play that on my platform because that's a very touching moment. And I don't know who would want to film someone when they're at a vulnerable state as Miss London was, being in a state of shock, complete shock and devastated to hear the tragic passing of your husband. So again, lift Lauren London up in your prayers. Just say a prayer or two for her because I know that this has to be a troubling time in her life and also the kids as well. This is devastating and I just don't know what else to say about it, but I'm definitely gonna be praying for their family. Now guys, before I go, I want to say this. We need to, as a community, go straight to the mirror and take a look at ourselves. 
because we are the most destructive individuals against our own race. And to be honest, I don't think that some of us value our own race because if you did, you will look at other ways to handle disputes between one another then resulting in trying to get stripes and taking someone's life. We have to do better. We have to be better. And instead of marching when something happens to our community from another community and trying to protest, we need to go inside our own hoods and ghettos and protest our own community because we have a very big problem. We can't stand one another to get ahead. We can't stand one another to be successful. We can't stand someone that is self-made, that propelled themselves to become a leader within their community. We can't stand someone standing in success. And that's sad. We need to change that narrative about our people. So guys, with that said, I want you to drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about this situation. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also share this video. And if you're new here, don't be afraid to subscribe to my channel and smash that notification bell to be notified of when I drop my next video. Peace.